built to fight a war which never came. The Tornado F3 has spent two decades keeping UK skies clear of unwanted Russian and other visitors. And now the final squadron to fly it is being disbanded. As an air defender, obviously my game is control of the air and uh, you know, as we've seen in operations over the last few years, control of the air is paramount. It's no different in the United Kingdom. So the ability to uh, protect the UK, um, scramble and intercept uh, unidentified aircraft approaching the UK is absolutely paramount. The Tornado F3 has become a potent platform, veteran of no-fly zones over Bosnia and Iraq. It's been wonderful. It's a uh, very rewarding aircraft to fly. It's quite demanding, it's quite challenging, but uh, it's, it's good fun and uh, it's good working with the, the navigator to fly with the crew cooperation is good and working as a team really makes it quite rewarding. But while the S3's replacement with the more agile Typhoon means the end for this unit and an uncertain future for this whole base, some of its pilots are being retrained to stay in our skies on the new aircraft. Yes, I'm really quite excited actually, I can't wait. It's obviously it's a stepping capability, it's, uh, it's the new aircraft and I'm really looking forward to starting. For one of the aircraft coming into land here at RAF Lucas, it's the last visit to this airfield. She's on her way to RAF leaving to be broken up. The demise of that airframe leaves just seven still flying. They'll follow on that final journey to the scrapyard in the next few days. Will Inglis, Forces News at RAF Lucas.